Thanks. The Brazos River still posing a threat to people in Fort Bend and Brazoria counties. Yes, new rescues have been happening all along the Brazos. Take a look at this video from Rocheron. A woman's truck got stuck in high water and she ended up clinging to a fence post until help arrived. And this woman is not alone. Numerous folks in Brazoria County had to be rescued today. Channel 2's Jonathan Martinez joins us live from Rocheron tonight with their stories. Jonathan. Yeah, Dominique and Bill, this really helps to tell the story. Ordinarily, this would be a dry driveway onto somebody's property, and tonight it looks more like the start of a river or a small lake, and this is the reason a large portion of this area is now under a mandatory evacuation. Another day of on and off again rain in parts of Brazoria County, bringing with it more flooding fears. And I've talked to all the neighbors who've been here 20 years plus. They've never seen it like that before. As the water levels continue to rise, the parts of Rocheron and surrounding communities under a mandatory evacuation continues to grow. Dozens of families had to be rescued by boat with all they could grab, including pets like this little bird named Yoda. It's exhausting. We're tired. Been here since 8 o'clock this morning. Oh, which is brought clothes and whatever else we could bring. It's important stuff. Besides the relentless rain that has lasted for days, the other major concern here, the swollen Brazos River and the fact they are downstream. Within two hours, four feet of water. So I'm trying to tell people, once it breaches a road like this, it will be in your house within hours. People need to heed the warnings and they need to get out. They need to get out of harm's way. I don't want anybody to get hurt or any loss of life. While many people evacuated, a few others spent the day bagging sand and doing all they can to keep the water out of their homes. But they admit if push comes to shove, they do plan to leave. In the event the water is coming into the yard, we will evacuate. We have no problem doing what we need to do to get to safety. And we are just off of FM 1462, and we can tell you at some points along this road, the water is about four to five feet deep. There is some good news for folks out here who did have to evacuate. If perhaps you have an animal, there is now a companion animal shelter open up at the Brazoria County Fairgrounds. We are reporting live tonight from Rocher, and I'm Jonathan Martinez, KPRC Channel 2 News.